Hi guys! I'm sure there is an annual Buzzword Award in your country, but of course there is a Japanese Buzzword Award as well. There are many words that are still in use today as well as those that express the social conscience of the year, so it will help you understand Japan better. Let's take a look at the Buzzword that won the grand prize. 2011 Nadeshiko Japan Nadeshiko is a word that describes a beautiful Japanese woman, and Nadeshiko Japan is the nickname of the Japanese national women's soccer team. The girls won the FIFA World Cup that year, and it became a favorably popular event in Japan. There was a player who took advantage of this trend and made her CD debut. 2013 Ima de shou. It's now, why not now? An expression that asks the other person to agree while stating it is right now when asked about the time or opportunity. It was an educator named Osamu Hayashi who said this phrase that made it popular. 2013 Omotenashi It is a Japanese word that means to greet with respect. This is what the Japanese presenter said in her speech at the International Olympic Committee General Assembly. 2013 Jejeje It is a dialect of Iwate Prefecture and is used when you are surprised or confused. In English, it's closer to Oh my gosh! 2015 Bakugai Shopping spree Buying a large amount of goods is called Bakugai. The world was born from the increase in number of foreign tourists who buy Japanese products in large quantities. 2017 Instabae is an attractive photo or beautiful scenery that will get a lot of likes on Instagram. In English, it is called Instagramable or Instagenic. 2018 Sodane is a diet of year, which means agree. At the Pyeongchang Olympics, the Japanese women's national curling team spoke this, and it became popular. 2019, One Team. This is the slogan of the Japanese national team for the Rugby World Cup. The slogan One for All, All for One also became popular at the same time. Next, here are the nominated buzzwords that regrettably didn't win the grand prize. 1996. Loose socks. It is one of the types of socks that high school girls wear when they go to school for their uniforms. It was popular because wearing large socks loosely made the legs look skinny legs. It is said to have originated in American mountaineering socks called boot socks. 1997. My boot. It is a Japanese English that refers to a trend with oneself a thing one collects or a thing one is interested in. In English, the expression I'm into blah 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 would have a similar meaning. 1998 Shoyu Gao Soy Sauce Face It is a buzzword that describes facial features such as the size of the eyes and the height of the nose in terms of seasoning. Such as strong or weak taste. Shoyu Gao is a typical facial feature of Japanese people. On the other hand, a face with large eyes and nose is called a sauce gao, sauce face, and a face that looks like a lighter version of a soy sauce face is called a shio gao, salt face. 2005 Moe It is a word that expresses a strong feeling of favoritism towards the characters who appear in anime and games. It is used as a superlative expression of an emotion such as cute or love. 2009 Soushoku Danshi Abelous Men It's not that men are not in love at all, but they are not active in love and are passive. As a synonym, A woman who is active in love is called Nikshoku Joshi, Carnival Girl. The term Arbiver refers to a person who is passive in love, while Carnival refers to a person who is active in love. A man who looks like he is not active in love 
but is actually active in love is sometimes called a cabbage roll guy. 2013. Gotochi Kara. Local character. A character created to promote a region is called a Gotochi Kara. Chiba kun. A local character from Chiba Prefecture is a dog character in the shape of Chiba Prefecture. Disneyland is right around Chiba kun's theme. One of the local characters from Funabashi City, Chiba Prefecture, is a crazy pear fairy called Funashi. 2013. Black Kigyo. Black Companies. It is commonly referred to as a company with very low compliance awareness that harasses its employees by working extremely long hours, making costs, and not paying overtime salary and other wages. A friend of mine used to work for a black company, but he was forced to work without a break for three years and quit because he got sick. In recent years, laws and rules have been put in place to keep out these black companies. 2014. Kabe Don. The word Kabe means wall, and Don is a sound produced when something hits the surface of something solid like a wall. Kabe Don is the act of a man putting his hand on the wall to keep a woman against the wall from leaving the area. And is mainly depicted in manga for girls. It says that when a girl in a comic book is given a world trust by a boy she likes, she feels more masculine and likes him even more. Other derivation Yuka don, Fura don, which is down to a person lying down, and Agu kui, Sin kui, which is to forcefully meet the gaze of a person of different height. And lift the thin slightly with a finger to stare at each other were also popular. 2019. Tapiru. It's a word that means to drink a bubble tea. The term was popular among high school girls. What did you think of it? It's a good representation of what was popular at the time. Ima de shou. It was a buzzword nearly 10 years ago. But it's still commonly used today. If you have a chance to talk to Japanese people, please use it. If you enjoy, please subscribe this channel. See you in the next video. Bye!